bilateral cataracts in a mid-aged lady with chronic uveitis. You see a small pupil which is bound to the lens with posterior sinecae and there is a fibrotic ring at the pupil which restricts the dilatation process. A 6 mm sclerocorneal tunnel is made in the upper temporal quadrant of the left eye. I had operated the right eye a few days ago and the patient is extremely happy and she has come for the other eye. Tunnel is uh, made at mid-level. Uh, the measurements are about 2.5 mm in the radial direction and in the circumferential direction it's about 6 mm. I made a small 2 mm nick into the anterior chamber through which I am going to inject the air followed by the tripan blue dye so as to stay in the capsule wherever it's possible in the at least in the central area. And I am now, after injecting viscoelastic, releasing the posterior sinecae with blunt dissection, I have enlarged the uh, in internal uh, opening to about 6 mm, and I am checking the how much it dilates. The fibrotic ring alone and adjacent pupil, very small amount is nicked with multiple uh, vanas cuts, so that I can now st do a stretch pupiloplasty. The other technique is to pull that membrane, which I tried in the other eye, but it's not coming out. You can uh, hold one end of the membrane and support in the pupil. You can pull it in circumferential direction, but it did not work well in this patient, so I'm, I have to cut the uh, fibrotic membrane. So you saw that the wide dialer is used and uh, is engaged at uh, one diameter of the uh, pupil and then uh, the other end of the diameter cord is pulled by another instrument to stretch it in two directions. Many times one direction is also adequate. Now I have a decent sized 4 to 5 millimeter uh, the pupillary dilatation. It's not, uh, you know, it's still a circular pupil and uh, this is more important uh, post in post-operative management. I've done uh, rexis. Uh, now I'll do a hydro dissection at one point using my special cannula. Uh, that's that's this this hydro dissection cannula is extremely uh, useful in directing the fluid at the uh, equatorial area to initiate uh, the rexis. The nucleus is prolapsed into the anterior chamber. The surgery is done uh, being done under topical anesthesia, and I have uh, infused a small amount of point. A uh, small amount of 1% lignocaine into the anterior chamber uh, initially under the uh, endothelial protection of viscoelastic. Uh, now the uh, nucleus is removed from the anterior chamber. In a case with thyroiditis, it's extremely important to remove every bit of uh, cortex uh, from the capsular bag and uh, see that every nook and corner is searched uh, you know, in a systematic way so that no cortex is left behind. Cortex is antigenic, so you're not supposed to leave even a small amount of uh, cortex in these eyes. Uh, so the 12 o'clock sub-incisional, it's not exactly 12 o'clock, but sub-incisional cortex is aspirated by right-sided and left-sided uh, J-shaped uh, simcocarillas. And uh, as I said, every uh, portion of the uh, equatorial area has to be manually look for uh, debris of cortex. Now, because you have an adequate sized, I do not have to uh, fold the lens or inject it through a small cannula. I personally feel the optics of the IOL will be best preserved by this method of implanting it without folding. It's a hydrophobic lens, which is uh, one of the ideal uh, uh, way to implant the lens uh, under the uh, in, inside the capsular bag. Viscoelastic has to be completely removed and I'm injecting uh, between the anterior capsule and the uh, iris uh, close to zonules a small amount of uh, triamcinolone and uh, that's endosurgery. That's how I form the chamber and triamcinolone most of it is absorbed back and I'm going to put uh, a drop of it in and then the fibrin glue 
to seal the wound. So at the end of surgery, because I have uh, not opened the eye at any other point, uh, the single point of entry is closed adequately with the conjunctiva. So eye is kept open. This is the other eye done few days ago. Uh, it's absolutely clear. People is round. I do not keep them under homotropin. I, whenever the patient comes, I dilate it and let it go so that people does not sanicate again. Thank you very much.